the systems want to do something, and there is objective which we will characterize as a mapping into some well-defined space, let's say real numbers. For example, we can, so uh, objective depends on the rule of conduct. Sometimes, for example, for some system, we might require that I have to receive this, the same information twice in order to do something. So the rule of conduct contacts, an objective is some function into well-defined space, let's say real numbers, and having this objective well-defined, I think we can come up with a very general, almost useless, but very general definition of uh, information. I told you that information has to change activity, so it has to change in some sense objective. So, oh, I'm thinking, ah, okay, I have to give you first few examples. I'm one slide ahead of you. Okay, let me, let me illustrate uh, this uh, system, paradigm system, uh, in two examples. First will be very important distributed aspect of information that I guess nobody will still understand what it is. I claim one bit here locally and one bit there this in distributed system is a different bit of information. Uh, uh, to illustrate it, imagine that uh, that this key, they will they basically wander on the network until they arrive in the washroom. The problem is that one key doesn't open the same at all. You need both keys at the same time, in the same space, in order to change the activity. How much information is in such a system? Locally, when I have these two bits together, I know I have one bit of information, but if these two bits are somewhere in the space, Somewhere, uh, I call it distributed one bit. It is one bit locally and one bit distributed. Uh, 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 it's the same bit of information. Can we somehow define it? I believe because we don't have good understanding of this, we don't have a good theory of networking, at least information theory for networks, because we don't understand timeliness and spatial aspect of information and distributed aspect of information, that is still most, probably the most important uh, part of information that we have to understand and move forward. While an archive network is actually something that we need right now, new information to go beyond Shannon. I will tell you later that Shannon never considers space and, and time, actually. There's a new aspect. And in, in wireless computing, as well, by the way, networking. If I send one bit, one bit, channel bit of information over a network, and whether it arrives in one second or five hours, we will set one bit of information sent on the set. But we know that this bit of information is not the set. It contains different information when it arrives after five hours uh, uh, than, let's say, within five seconds how we can account for this. And why is computing a different aspect? When two users are closer to each other, they can send more information to that far apart. And you can ask all kinds of questions for why is computing that we don't understand and we have to understand. What is the speed of information? I will claim that information is distributed in the speed of sound, not of light. I will tell you why in a second. So it, 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 there is a lot of question, and actually during this talk you will listen, you will have a lot of questions, you will have very few answers. <laughs> Finally, whatever I say in classical words doesn't hold in quantum words. And I will, I will avoid talking about quantum mechanics, but basically Pauli explained to us that any attempt to measure property destroyed our knowledge about, at least partially, and because of this information, quantum information means something else, but we won't go there in order to uh, finish it within one hour. Okay, now we are ready to give you uh, an attempt or an attempt to define information. I told you the information has to change activity within some rules of conduct <coughs> and some context. So information is carried by an event. 
So if we can measure uh, the difference of the objective before the event occurred and after the event occurred, and this cost could be anything, it is an information. It is information because information is not absolute and it depends on the context, on, even, on, on, the, on the rule of conduct, on the objectivity, and many other things. I will say very little about this, but we can assume that the maximum information that you can uh, contain within a certain set of rules and context could be defined capacity, but I will not go through this. One thing that I want to make sure that you understand, that when I define information, I'm assuming that there is no noise. Just for simplicity of, uh, of this discussion. Okay. So I tell you a very, very general definition. Now what Shannon did, and what actually, how within this framework that I just described, we can define uh, information. Shannon said, OK, first of all, semantic doesn't matter. What is objective in Shannon? In Shannon's uh, uh, information theory, objective is statistical ignorance of the recipient or statistical uncertainty of the recipient. If, for example, I'm the recipient and I know that you have two or three messages to send to me, let's, let's go first to extreme. If I know there's only one message, when I receive the snatches, there is no information sent because I know what the message is. I'm assuming that I know the set of messages you want to send. If, there are, if you have two messages, uh, one, you, you, if you can send one of two, or one of a thousand, observe that when a message arrives to me, when it is one of the two, I'm, I'm gaining something. But it's like 50 50 I can get. When it is one of a thousand, when I get this one message out of a thousand possible, it seems to us that we gain more information. And that is actually Shannon postulate. He claimed that information, that statistical ignorance of the information depends on the probability of this event carrying information to be generated. So P of E, probability of generating E, in general it does not, not need to be uniformly distributed. What is the cost that I describe in my general definition? It's actually number of binary decisions to describe E. So Shannon define information in a very simple way lock of the probability of the event. This is called self information of event R. If you do averaging over all possible, uh, you get such a formula. And most of you know that it's entropy. Why it is called entropy? I will tell you a story a little later. Uh, how von Neumann convinced uh, Shannon to call it entropy. By the way, if there is noise, instead of information, I should talk about inf mutual information, but I won't be using it, so I will just drop it. Observe, by the way, that Shannon information theory in no way is absolute, because if I just take this one and try asking to compute information contained in this page, we won't agree, because you will be counting symbols or words to compute your probability, and I decide to look at shapes of the letters. And we all get different information. So there is no absolute meaning of information in this sense. Uh, so what actually Shannon did? Uh, before this, uh, we have to understand, have a better intuition about entropy. What is entropy? An example will tell us. So let's assume that I have eight messages to send with this probability. And I decided to use a code. This is a smart code. Because when I compute the, ever, the shortest length, uh, the length of this code, so I multiply one half by one, one four by two, and so on, I get two bits. If you compute actually entropy of this source, it's also two bits. The question is, is it coincident or not? How short the description, on average, let's say, of a message, is related to the entropy? Actually, Shannon proof in his first theorem and uh, there is no blackboard, but in one line I can show it to you how to prove that the shortest, on average at least, the shortest description of a message has to be bigger than entropy. So in a sense, entropy is a quintessential uh, characterization of information content. You don't need 